Hey guys, um, if you guys are not aware, it's been 4 days since We Are Not Your Kind was released. And I have my ratings. That was abnormally bright. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give my uh, my opinion of the album really, really quickly. Well, not really, really, really quickly. <laughs> That didn't make sense. Also, I bummed the microphone. Whoops. Um, I also want to thank one YouTuber who was much bigger than me. <laughs> um, Deuce or Dos. I don't 100% know how to pronounce her name. Um, I hope that's fine. Just going to point that out there. Don't know 100% how to say your name. Just pointing that out. Um... But I watched um, yours, your album review, and it was pretty good. I agreed with most of it. There was a few songs on that one that I didn't 100% agree with, and there was a few that you didn't include, like the interludes, which I decided to include in mine just to get a, a, um, a fair average, you know? I wanted to make sure that I got my ratings... A hundred percent where I want them. So basically, what I'm saying is, I took your rating system and I took put it a little bit of my own take take on it. Um. Um. If you do not agree with my opinion, I genuinely believe that it would be a good idea to go watch his video. His was very good. He did explain why he um. He didn't like a few of the songs, if he didn't like a few of the songs, <laughs> um, he did, he, he had, a, he made his points very clear, and, and a few of them I really agreed with, so, um, um, thank you to him, and, um, if you don't know who he is, go ahead and follow, uh, go ahead and subscribe, I'll leave his channel in the description below, it was really good, I enjoy myself thoroughly, he, even when he's not meaning to be funny, he still manages to have some sort of um, a joke in there that he doesn't even mean. Um, and if you are watching, thank you for being here, man. Thank you. It would really help me out. Just saying. Alright, so um, let's get to the actual review. So I had a separate, I had a separate place for the interludes. Um, first of all, the, f the title, the, the starting tracks, uh, starting track, um, insert coin, I absolutely loved it, I gave that one, um, a 10 out of 10, 100, uh, from, uh, top, from start to finish, it was just a fantastic way to open up the album, and again, one more time, I am a more, I am a progressive rock head. My favorite bands are Genesis, Alan Parsons, Pink Floyd, etc. So, and I love the atmosphere of that song. I wish it was a little longer, though. If it was a little longer, it would have been even better. And I think it would have been fantastic. I think it's a great song. Amazing. And I, it features my favorite lyric from uh, Solway Firth. So, can't can't fret me for that um death because of death seemed a little bit like um a f more like filler it wasn't my favorite the the lyrics were unbelievably repetitive it just sounded it, i don't know it's the the singing turned me off which was the first time i said that about Corey's voice it was the vocals that turned me off of the song the atmosphere was 100 percent iowa and i enjoyed that thoroughly but I had to give that one um, uh, uh, 5 out of 10, so 50% on that one. What's Next was very elevator music, but it was like the elevator that descended into a slipknot hell. Which, if I am not mistaken, What's Next went right into spiders. But hey, that was just my opinion of these songs. I gave uh, What's Next an 8 out of 10 just because of the atmosphere again. It was a cool atmosphere, built up really cool, it was awesome. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Also, I'm sorry for the rasp, I've 
I don't know, I might have, um, I don't know, I, something's weird about my voice today, I don't know what it is. Um, the average for the interludes came out at a, at a um, 7.67 out of 10. So, pretty good, you know, pretty good. I need water. Man needs water to to survive. <laughs> um, so for the main tracks, this is where it gets interesting. Unsainted, I gave a nine out of ten, just because I don't know. It was the one thing. It was the one song that really. It, 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 the timing of that song could not have been more perfect. They dropped a new song. It didn't set the bar for what the album was going to be at all. It was one of the, it was probably the softest song on the track when it came to actually playing wise. But I still enjoyed it nonetheless. It was really good, catchy, good singing, and the lyrics were absolutely amazing. I loved everything about that song. The only thing was is that it was a little bit soft when it came to what they said about the album, how it's gonna be Iowa heavy, which I didn't want to compare the album to Iowa. Exactly how Deuce did it. I don't want to compare this album to Iowa whatsoever. I want to think of it as the next Slipknot album, which it is. I don't know. The next song, Birth of the Cruel. Oh, it just, it's just something about it just doesn't do it for me. The breakdown is awesome. I think it's a cool breakdown. The lyrics are fantastic. I don't know what about, I don't know about the verse though. The chorus was interesting too too I don't know something about it just didn't work with me but I'm, I'm yet to figure that out and I might give an updated opinion on that specific song sometime later but I have a feeling that after 20 listens through the album my opinion may not change on that one so I gave it 7 out of 10 Nero Fort or Forte I don't know it's French um, yeah, I gave that one a 10 out of 10 just because the lyrics, again, the lyrics, the atmosphere, the riff, the, uh, the singing was amazing. Corey's voice, the chorus was so unbelievably good. There was just something about that song that just was like, <sighs> I want to hear that one over and over and over again. So... Critical Darling, I gave an uh, 8 out of 10, again. That one was the one that people were uh, criticizing for being too much of a Stone Sour song, which I sort of agree with. It's still a good song, in my opinion, but it is um, it is a tad Stone Sour, which I'm not opposed to. But, you know, again, it, it did, um, it did uh, lessen the song a bit. Next one, A Liar's Funeral, which was a very snuff type song. Um, maybe not as good as Snuff. I I love Snuff. It's probably it's one of my favorite songs on All Hope Is Gone, and it's awesome. I love that song. Um, a Liar's Funeral was pretty good. It it did try to do a new type of snuff look, uh, sound, mixed with the the new feel of this new album, which I enjoyed. But, um, in a few parts it was just like, okay, whatever, I can live with that one part or two. And it was a tad long, but that's okay. And uh, the one thing that really saved it was the end, how heavy that was. The deepness of how, the lyrics were incredible. Great song. Red Flag, I gave 10 out of 10, because, okay, it was like, if... If, um, the negative one was written in the time of, um, if it was written in the time of Volume 3 in Iowa, it was like that. It was like 0.5 mixed with Iowa and Volume 3. If those three albums had a baby, it would be Red Flag, and I love that song. Fantastic song. Amazing. I can't, I just, oh my god. It's so good. It's not as good as Nero Forte for one reason. The riff, as much as the riff is amazing and catchy, it's just not as catchy as Nero Forte. I don't know. But I still love it. Still solid 10 out of 10. 
Spiders. This one was the one that people, for some, it was a mixed opinion. Some people loved it, some people hate it. For me, I love it. I don't know, again, coming from a progressive rockhead, right? Um, it was unbelievably unique, and I just thought it was really... It, the singing in that song was the thing that got me most. The time signature, 7-8. Seven, 7 eight. Seven against 8. And for those of you who do not know what a time signature is, one more time... Um, all the other songs on this album were recorded in 4-4, four, four, if I'm not mistaken. Which is just boom, tish, boom, tish. This one was in 7 against 4. A waltz is boom, boom, tish, boom, boom, tish. And something about this one was just so good. The, the 7 against 8, which I believe was completely and utterly intentional, just sold it for me. And the songwriting was fantastic. I just thought it was such a great song. It was one of the... It was one of my favorites. It was just so good. And again, it's not something Slipknot would ever release if it wasn't for this. If it, if they were trying to be totally different, I wouldn't have considered this a Slipknot song. But it's so good, and I'm glad that they wrote this. I just think it's awesome. And the atmosphere is cool. Can't front me for that. Orphans... 10 out of 10, The Heretic Anthem 2, in my opinion. Which I completely agree with Dex on that one. It is the exact, it is very similar to the riff. It has a few slight changes that are um, notable. Uh, it's, it's hard to hear if you don't have a good ear for these things, but it is a slightly different riff, roughly the same speed. It is very, very close, though. It is almost identical. It is slightly different though, just because of the slight tuning, and that's about it. Other than that, it's pretty much the Heretic Anthem Part Two, <laughs> or or uh, Two. That's the same thing. <laughs> um, my pain. Oof, damn. I gave this one a lower rating, seven out of ten. It was the one thing that killed it for me was that it was just a little bit too long. It was just, I don't know, it was just too long for me. A little bit too long anyway, it was almost seven minutes. But it's a good song. The atmosphere was incredible. Again, unique. It was the, th the thing that lowered it was just, it was too long of an intro for for me, for, for a Slipknot song, and that's what turned me off about it. But uh, And it was a little bit too long, but that's about it. Other than that, unbelievably unique, really cool, catchy. Other than that, just the length of the song and the intro was too long. Not long for this world. That was a pretty good one. It wasn't... The lyrics were a little bit cheesy, in my opinion. But that's okay. The, the lyrics... The, it was still a good song. It was It was catchy. And the, the chorus was really cool. I enjoy it. It's a, It definitely has a different tone than something I would ever do again. But it's cool. I like it. It's one. It's it's not one of my favorite songs on the album, but it's it's pretty highly rated. And some people love that song. It, it, it's a good song, in my opinion. And for the most part, the last one, which in my opinion is probably the second... Which is in my... It's probably my second favorite song on the album, Solway Firth. It's just amazing. That's all I have down on that. 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. I have nothing against the song. It is amazing. I love it. It's such a good song. It there The, the chorus is it, just incredible. The speed of it. Just... Oh, it's an intoxicating song. It's so good. So the average for the main tracks was 8.81 out of 10. So almost 9 out of 10. Whoops. Um, yeah, that was the um, main tracks average. The, main tr the average of the album in total, which I converted into a percentage, is 82.4%. And I feel like that's pretty fair. 
I feel like I was a little bit generous with death because of death. The only reason why I gave it such a higher rating was because of the fact that it had a really cool atmosphere. That's about it. Um, other than that, it would it was one of the songs that turned me off on the album. I'm not going to go ahead and say that this is the best album they've released ever. I'm going to say it is their best album above All Hope Is Gone, in my opinion. I love, again, no one attack me. I love all the albums. Every single one. I love every single one of these albums. They're so good. But, I don't know. There are some songs on, on All Hope Is Gone that just turn me off of the album. I don't know. In, in, in my opinion, this is the best album since Volume 3. It's just such a great album. I enjoy it thoroughly. There is nothing I would change about this album at all. Except for all Death Because of Death. And maybe Birth of the Cruel. Maybe... So I don't know what it is yet, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out sometime soon. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just going to be my, my opinion of the song forever. I don't know. All I know is that this has been my review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment to see what you guys... I want to see what you guys think of the album. I want to see what your guys, you guys' opinion of this album is. And... Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.